All right, we we're gonna take some gears off here, the oil pump gear. We've got this crank gear here. Now this on, on this crank gear, it is reverse threaded, meaning you turn this clockwise to remove it. So keep that in mind. You're not putting all kinds of pressure on it. You may have to hold it somehow. Um, what you can do is stick a, a bigger socket down in an area that's going to catch. Just want to make sure you don't break any parts behind there. So make sure you turn this clockwise to loosen it counterclockwise to take it uh, to tighten it back up. So we'll pull this gear off here, and then we're able to pull this chain. And we might have to remove this this guide first. Pull this guide. This is for the rear cylinder here. So that is the guide. We'll be able to pull that chain off now. And then here is the cam chain sprocket that sits on the crankshaft itself. And here is a oil bypass here we can remove. That's a oil bypass there. A pressure valve there. Just a little circlet. We'll pull off. We're able to take that off. And this oil pump will come out the other way, but before you do that, you have to pull that sprocket and this little pin and the washer off. So we'll keep those together. We'll remove, here's a oil sensor here, and then we'll remove this bolt here. This is a 14 millimeter bolt. All right, so this one is the same way. This one or clockwise to loosen it. And then we'll pull the sensor off here and then we'll start taking bolts off on that crankcase. Sensor is off and that's just Phillips screw that attaches the wire to that. We'll go around and remove all the 10 millimeters. And the 12s. And it looks like we'll be ready to split that case. Keeper here, sometimes you can get caught up on that. Sometimes if that bearing doesn't come out, sometimes you can get caught up with that. There we go. And that was it. So that's why it's good just to kind of stop and take a break and look at everything. Make sure you're not missing something. So splitting the case here now. Now I like to try to keep all together. Sometimes you lose a washer. Um, the straighter you can take it out the better. There is your case split. So we still have oil pump on this side here. We've got the crank here. We've got the transmission here. We've got the shift drum here. The shift forks. Here's a set of forks here. Here's a fork here. It's cranked with the bolt of rods. Still, and this crank is in good condition. We'll check it over a little bit more and make sure it's true. The crank is very heavy. Um, here's the output shaft. This is the shaft that runs all the way through and connects with this, with this bevel gear here. So that that will probably got to remove some Allens. We'll get to that point. So. Just wiggle these shift forks out of the way because they'll get stuck unless you pull these out first. We've got your shift drum here, and that's what this star goes on. So there's a pin here that goes into that hole, the center bolt there. That we'll put the L bat together. And maybe this Allen bolt here on the end of this is holding that spring that you can see here clamp down so if you pull that spring you'll probably you'll have some pressure there and get this off without that would be ideal so what I'm going to do is find an allen for these bolts here and see if we can get it out that way okay we've got the spacer off there now we might have to tap that gear with a hammer for you there so we'll set this back down pull this out there's that gear there buy that from Suzuki, these two gears will be together. 
and we'll be able to pull the rest of this transmission out. And these I just kind of walk out. That gear there. And this gear plus the oil orifice here that can be removed with a 10 millimeter. And same way with the other crank on this side. Orifice there. Take that 10 millimeter out, pull that orifice out. Uh, here's your oil pump, and all it is is three 8 millimeter bolts. And that's your oil pump and your oil pickup. So we've got oil pump there. That's where these parts sat. You can take your finger and push from the other side to push this shaft out enough to get this back on and then we'll put that snap ring in as well. And then here's the snap ring that goes on there. So that's your oil pump and your oil pickup. And that's it for the Intruder 1500 motor.